Yeah, there's a place uh, in the quarterfinals of this Challenge Cup up for grabs. Some decent memories over the years in this competition. And it's kind of, if you can get past this round, you can really start thinking about, oh, there could be a potential of, of some silverware as well. So let's see how it goes for Queen of the South. Probably a couple of noticeable mentions in their team as Gibson Senior and Gibson Junior start, as does ex-Wasp Lee Connolly. So we'll keep an eye on the, on the three of them in particular. Peyton Huntley that scored 12 I think 12? Ah, th 13 I think 13. Last, I think he scored last week at East End Park as well so um, and obviously Lee Connolly just driving into the box dancing his way through Connolly and he's opened the score in early doors you've just spoken about putting a south score in two minutes last time they've replicated it again it's number 10 it's the ex-wasp Lee Connolly corner's a better one but straight into the hands of Hogarth <laughs> does spill it but Nobody pouncing on it. Oh gosh, goes long immediately. Can he get Buchanan in behind? He's in. He is in. It's Stephen Buchanan. It's a good yeah. save yeah, from Max Curry. It Curry. took me a save. Oh, 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 oh. a good one. Salmon looks to hold it up well. Good strength. Seems to come off the hand, but he fancies oh. the effort. And what a sweet strike there from Adam King. Brilliant battling from Salmon, but it's all in that finish from Adam King. Right into the bottom corner, and Aloha are level in this game. It's a perfect Connolly. Looks to get it back off of his teammate, but to no avail. And O'Donnell's just gifted it back to Gibson, put his team in a little bit of pressure. It's a good ball from Gibson. Irving with the opportunity, well blocked, still alive though. Gibson Jr. whips it in back post. It's a free header, and it's hooked off the line by Andy Graham King shows for it Probably again with the uh, to find a way into the box could be able to make fancy an effort now that he's gone this way oh, 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 what a strike oh, oh, oh. anything Adam King can do Kevin Colley can do better he had that one to call his highlight reel that's, that's an absolute beauty keeper never moved an absolute cracker yeah player of the year last year so it's uh, not a bad Worth to bring through halfway through the season. Yep. Probably latch on to it, not quite. He's still got it here, Todd. It's a ball in from Todd, and Puna South do get the equaliser. It's number 12, it's Kieran McKenna that's got the goal there. Back level terms, as you say, well worked. Okay. He does that in some games with Kiever, he is quiet, but then he kind of comes on in like 10 minute first. Oh, and that's good from Church. Skips past his man. Can he get a decent ball in? And Connor Salmon with a glorious opportunity. Here's his there. man a little bit there, and Cochrane latches onto that one. Here's Connolly. Switches it out to the right hand side. Gibson to deliver. Cuts it back to Todd. And it's a sweet, sweet sweeping strike there. Oh, hard to say that one, but um, well held by Hogarth. <laughs> did wait to hold it. Keeper did wait to hold it, but good for the things again. Coming forward now with Church. Great play from Church to Buchanan. And it's not quite caught cleanly into the hands of Curry. An opportunity for the youngster there. It's good from Salmon. Uses his body well. McKeever's driving forward. Look at that run from King on his left. Sees it. Finds Adam King. Puts onto his right foot and just passes it down the keeper's throat. But yeah, Peyton just giving us a wee kind of teaser of what he's capable of there. I think goalkeeper had it covered, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. look at that from Salmon, brilliant take and turn, and here's Buchanan's opportunity, and he just can't get the ball under control. Yeah, it got stuck under his feet, didn't it? I think it was saying it was forced it to the there, but take it. And it's nice. done in, and it's off the bar, and McKeever can't quite put it home. Nearly the gold shirts flurry forward, Rodden's balls into the box, Salmon. Brilliant from Salmon, McKeever's shots right at the keeper and he have a second crack at it, blocked. What we're saying in the, in the first half, Salmon perhaps not prolific at the moment in terms of scoring, but not to control his performance tonight, the shift he's put in. Yeah. Really Oof. Oof, and that one nearly took us by surprise as Gibson, the manager, steps out of defence and fizzes one just wide. Locked out. McKeever just nips that off of... Gibson and here go Alawa, it's Kevin Colley on that far left hand side, Gibson 
powering it back, but Colley delivers. Rodden's headers over the bar. Just cheering on any team to score, so I didn't have to sit for another 30 minutes. No, I was saying, um, because remember Broomhall had a chance right after the equalise? Yeah. They went up the park again, and I said to my mate, I was like, oh, I said to my mate, I'm not bothered if you score here. <laughs> I really am not bothered. His first touch and his drop off the shoulder uh, is kind of a level above sort of Scottish League 1. And he do, he's done it constantly since he's came, you know, but that first touch gives him the space that they've talked about. Peyton. Into Connolly, he's managed to get quite a lot of space. He goes down. Really, oh, he's given it. Wow. Wow. It's a penalty kick to Queen of the South. Lee Connolly goes down. Down in his oh, arm. There's a cross, Lee Connolly, and he will have the opportunity. He has to put his side ahead, and he makes no mistake from the spot. But it is Rod, and it's, it's managed to sneak its way through, and he's slipped through McKeever. Looking and it's Salmon, oh, he's got it all wrong, Connor Salmon. Gibson fancies the effort, that's off the crossbar, and Josh Todd will head home. He will send Queen of the South into the quarterfinals of the SPFL Trust Trophy. Hogarth could do nothing about it, that shot's come off the bar, and Josh Todd's headed into pretty much a, an empty net and Aloha have had their chances this second half as well but they find themselves at the wrong end of a comeback and, and I suppose when we are looking for, for positives that will be positive we've spoken about it but turning back on the pitch something that we can take away from tonight as Colley dances his way and it's well blocked as he looks to add one to the highlight reel Good from Ross McKeever. Now Colley gives it back to McKeever. Gets it back another time. Double blocked out for a corner. Just not falling for Alwa in this second half. Yeah, Alwa will get to take this corner eventually. Comes in. Decent looking one. Darnin and it's off the line. And that would have made it an interesting end to the game. And He goes long, looking to carve open maybe one more opportunity. Colley into Rodden. Rodden over to the left hand side to Church as a decent ball. He'll need a decent delivery. Not a bad one, just too much on it. Rodden's header is out for a goal kick. 